Hi, I'm Chesney Hawks. You're watching Avenue 11. Now, I don't normally get starstruck or nervous, but when I was 12 years old, Chesney Hawks was at number one for five weeks, and he was my childhood crush. I'm meeting him today to talk about his album, so I've got to hold it together. So wish me luck. And you don't, you could live, but you won't. Why not try? Not to care, just like him. Well, it seems such a waste. Cause the love that you chase is not fair. Hi, hello. Chesney, is it? Yes, and you are Hi there, I'm Georgina. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Welcome um, to my yeah. table. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so I understand you had quite a big hit back in the 90s, is that right? The one and only really? or something like that. I can't really remember it myself, yeah, no, to be honest. I don't remember it really. I was about 12 years old, something like that. What have you been up to since then? Uh, well, I uh, had a cup of coffee. <laughs> uh, uh, you want a day-by-day -day account, I take yeah, it? Yeah, we've, we've got quite a while, but... <laughs> okay, um, now I've been songwriting, uh, popping out a few kids, uh, making, <laughs> making out... Well, I actually can do it personally, yeah, you yeah. know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Can't the wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, you know, I've made a few albums over the years, and lots of touring. Um, all sorts of things, really. <laughs> and did you meet your wife after your fame, or...? Y yes, although she's American and, and didn't really know who I was. <laughs> So you've got a new album coming out, or the first one in years, in fact, another fine mess. Yes. So what, what kind of mood would you say this album is? Well, it's a collection of, of songs, and I said I was uh, songwriting to other people, and it's kind of like a collection of songs that I n didn't want to let go, you know, that I had an affection for, or that was very personal to me, or whatever. Um, I mean, it's very eclectic, actually. So, I mean, I don't know if it has kind of a... A mood, and it's, it's like it's, there's a lot of different things going on on that album, you know. Um, but I'm very proud of it, actually. It's a shame you can't see that I try. And you've been touring lots of universities. Was there any particular reason that you went down the university route? Um, well, actually, it started a few years ago, about five years ago, but I hadn't really been gigging as me for a while. Mm -hmm. I, I had bands over the years, and uh, and uh, ne you know, I didn't do the one and only for about seven years or something. And um, we, my management were contacted by this uh, student guy and uh, said, would you like to do a few gigs um, at Nottingham Uni, I think it was, and Leicester Uni or something. And I thought, like, oh God, they wouldn't really remember me or anything, you know. <laughs> so anyway, I ended up doing the gig and, uh, and it was just like crazy, you know. It was like <laughs> better than it was before. I'd, like, you know, knickers thrown on stage, 3,000, you know. Really? I oh, know, it was nice. It was being flashed, you know. It was like, oh wow. Um, obviously, the film Buddy Song was was huge at the time as well. Mm. Any plans to do any more films? Um, it's not on my horizon, to be honest with you. It, I guess it was never really my kind of first love. Music was always, you know, what I first and foremost was in my mind. It was, you know, I, was, I made a record when I was eight, so music was always my first love. Yeah. And, uh, uh, I'm not saying I wouldn't like to to do any more acting because I actually I really enjoyed it, you know. I'm actually doing pantomime this year, don't tell anyone. Ah, where are you doing that? <laughs> yeah, it's in Manchester, I'm looking forward to it actually. It's the first time I've ever, ever done anything like Which that. Which one is it? It's uh, Dick Whittington oh at the God. Lowry Theatre. Are you going to be Dick or? I'm Dick. <laughs> Think I like a nice Dick? <laughs> <laughs> so you, apart from your university gigs, you keep yourself quite busy. Do a bit for charity as well. Yeah, I do. I, I, I have a few charities that I'm involved in. Um, I, I'm actually just organising a big. This, I do this thing, Chesney's Christmas Cracker. Right. Every year, it's in Ascot. It's on the. Catsy. Uh, yeah, do you like it? <laughs> yeah, 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 it's, yeah, it's a bit cheesy, but. Took hey. you a while to think that one up. <laughs> yeah, actually, it wasn't even me. I can't even take credit for it. <laughs> but that's the 9th of December this year, and I have like, um, you know, I've got Jason Donovan on with me this year, and. Uh, I have all sorts of great uh, special guests. And, uh, Are you quite good mates with him? Because you also you performed at one of his concerts. Yeah, you? it's kind of a favour for a favour, actually, yeah. this one. Yeah, uh, yeah, we're good mates. You know? it's, uh, we've known each other since 
the early 90s and yeah. across paths and everything. He's a lovely, lovely fella. And what sort of, what, are you going to be touring with the album? Or? Well, as I said, I'm constantly touring anyway. I'm yeah. always on the road and I do do uh, a lot of the songs from the album. I'm going to mix it up. And obviously if I'm doing students, I have to kind of give them what they want, you know. Yeah. One and only. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I do, you know, throw in a few so new songs. So. So we're going to have a best of album anytime soon? I think there is one actually. <laughs> oh, There's already right. one out. Already been yeah. done. Already yeah. done that. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> well, best of luck with the album, and oh, it's lovely to meet you. Oh, it was nice. <laughs> it was lovely sharing coffee with you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>